We need to talk. We need to talk about R Lodge. Now, R Lodge is a term I created that stands for ridiculous lapse of judgment. And R Lodge occurs from one of two things. One being cognitive dissonance, where you hold two contradictory thoughts or ideas and you act in favor of one, which means you act against the other. And this tends to cause stress. Now, the other is lack of awareness. And what led me to even starting this R Lodge series is noticing that most people are exhibiting R Lodge because of the first reason, cognitive dissonance. So let's get started. Now, in order to pinpoint R Lodge, you usually have to think in terms of systems. For example, the two topics we're going to discuss here are school, like university, college, and fitness, of course. And so when it comes to school, meaning university or college education, people go to school for four years, maybe five, maybe six, maybe eight, with hopes of getting a degree. And their specific value judgments about the degree, maybe their value judgments are derived from their family members and what their family has told them about the value of a degree. Um, all of this contributes to their hope strategy, where they get the degree and they hope that once they leave school, once they graduate, that the job market will be open to their entry, that their life will be completely better, that they can work, possibly work the job of their dreams and not have to stress out about money or bills. They hope to be set for life and they don't have to go back to school. So a lot of people believe this, but when it comes to fitness, Notice how people aren't willing, some aren't willing to spend four months to learn the basic principles of nutrition and fitness so that they can eat whatever they want without sabotaging results, so that they can exercise however they want, whenever they want. They can, they don't have to restrict foods. They can do whatever they want when it comes to nutrition and fitness. But most people will struggle with this and if they were able to get these principles up front, then they'd be set for life. They wouldn't, there's nothing to relearn. Our biology doesn't change in a matter of say 80 years, <laughs> doesn't change much. So this is just a quick, quick clip from our lodge where we're discussing the hope strategy here versus the no hope strategy that some people have when it comes to fitness, where they just think, well, you know, I'm going to be fat forever. You know what? I'm just going to be fragile. I'm going to be weak. I'm going to be skinny fat. I don't know what to do about it. Whereas they're willing to dedicate four years to the degree, but not four months to a guarantee. See you on the next one. So lick your lips, because it's about to get juicy. <laughs> Don't put that in there. Keep that out. Keep that out. Jacob. Don't look at me like that, Jacob. We're not putting that in there. <laughs>